Hello and welcome to the Amazon Merch On Demand Upload Automatically video. First of all, congratulations. If you watch this video, you probably got a Merch On Demand account for Amazon so you can start your print on demand business with the biggest seller platform in the world. If you wanna upload a product, you upload here your image and then you select here your products and marketplaces and then you enter always for every product here the fit types the colors and also the prices you enter your listing and click publish amazon made it a bit easier because you can now save publish settings so you can predefine colors or prices for example but if you upload more than a few designs it's still make more sense to upload automatically and how you do this and how easy it is i show you now you need two things to start your automated amazon upload the first one is a listing for your design with the products the prices colors and the listing you want to have you can do this here on the local edit or also here in the online edit we have a lot of YouTube videos who describe how to do it fast and how to do it easy. Maybe have a look if you are interested. And the second thing that you need is you go here to auto login. You go here to Amazon Merge and then you enter here your login data. No worries. It's all just local on your PC. It's all encrypted. It's as safe as possible. Then you click here save and then you're already ready to upload to Amazon. And then we start your Amazon upload. You go here to the upload section and then you simply hit start for the Amazon upload. Then our Chromium window will open and here your login data will be entered. You can of course make this also full screen and after the login it will directly start to upload your new image and then the process begins that I explained before so it will select your marketplaces and the products you want to have upload the new image And then it will choose your fit types, your colors, and also it will enter your prices. You will also see here for every product that is not the standard t-shirt size, it will upload a scaled um, yeah, version of it. So it should suit even better. After the upload, I will show you also some extra settings you can make where you can adjust this. But basically you don't have to worry that some of your design is not suitable for a product. FU will always replace it. For accessories like the pop sockets, it will also set the background. And then it will enter the listing. And then click on publish or save draft. That's, that depends simply on what you have choose for your listing. Yeah, and this is how the Amazon upload works this is uploaded and the upload was successful and i hope it can help you you saw now the normal upload but of course you can also make it more specific and yeah, adjust it the way you need it you can go here to options to settings to templates and then you have here the 
Amazon Merge option. And then you can see here that you can, for example, skip inputs during the upload. I explained in the beginning that you can save publish settings. So you can pre-save things like the colors or the prices, for example, you can choose here to skip these steps. So for example, if you choose this, then flying upload won't enter colors. It will simply yeah, use the ones you already have predefined. This will of course save you time. So if you have a lot to upload, this is a massive time, time saver, the colors and also the pricing of course, and you can even skip the listing text if you have like a scale design or something and you always want to use the same listing. Then you also saw during the upload that flying upload scales your image for a hoodie, for a pop socket. It would also um, yeah, scale for a tote bag, for example. If you don't want this, you can simply enable this option to skip the auto image scaling. If this is better or not, everyone has to decide for, yeah, for themselves, but it will definitely save you also time if you skip it. And the last option that you have is custom scaling. So, you know, with the new Amazon interface where you can now define your percentage of the size of the design. This is also now here possible with flying upload. So if you want to have, for example, the pop socket on seven or eight percent, you can define it here and then make your upload more individual. Please uh, keep in mind, if you don't enable this option, skip the auto image scaling, the size that flying upload will upload will be a lot less, for example, for pop sockets than it is in your yeah, normal original design. So for example, if you skip the auto image scaling, it is probably seven, eight or 9% your pop sockets need. And if you don't skip the auto image scaling, it is probably around yeah, 70% you need that it yeah, looks uh, good and most of the pop socket is filled out. But as, uh, yeah, as you've seen in the upload process, you can make a test upload as draft and then simply see how it works and how it looks best for you. And this is how you can make your upload more individual and of course also faster. And at last, I wanna show you two common errors that maybe could happen that your automatic upload to Amazon isn't successful, but don't worry, it's really two very small things. The first one is here at the login page that for some reason the keep me signed in is not checked. Just make sure it usually happens during the auto login automatically, but maybe you log in manually, I don't know, but make simply sure that this box here is checked because when this isn't checked, it could happen that after a few uploads, you are locked out from Amazon. And of course, when you are locked out during the upload process, FU can't continue and it can first continue when you see it, when you log back in and then yeah, it can continue. And the second error I can also show you here is it is to minimize the upload process. FU has to click like a normal user. This means it needs at least the minimum size it flying upload gives him. When you start the upload, you can also make it full screen. This is probably always the best solution. And background upload, no problem. You can work here, you can watch a series, whatever. Background, no problem. Simply don't minimize it. Yeah, and these are the two errors that could happen, but if you keep care of this, your upload is successful.